Hi Libra, I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get into this, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, so we're starting off with the Two of Cups. There may be somebody that you're connecting with. First major arcana to pop out, Libra. I'm seeing you connecting with someone. I'm seeing there be a little bit of a height difference. Maybe there's a bit of an age difference with this person. I'm seeing um, you and Virgo very close to each other. This can be someone you're connecting with. This can also be an important um, part of your chart as well, Libra. An important placement for you. I'm seeing you analyze a relationship that you have with somebody very, very close to you. Interesting. So what it looks like is that you may be feeling stressed out about something. This can have to do with like what you feel like is right within a situation. Maybe it has to do with like beliefs or something like that and feeling stressed out or like even weighed down. Possibly even when it comes to like a belief system, it can also be like spirituality, stuff like that. I'm also hearing prefer preferences, maybe something about like demographics between you and another person and maybe something like not completely jiving because I'm seeing you feel, um, I'm feeling, I'm seeing you feel a bit overwhelmed and it can have something to do possibly with um, like beliefs or a belief system. You may even feel pressured or weighed down by maybe what you anticipate is expected of you i'm seeing this be the challenge for you right now that you're facing it's like how are we going to deal with this sense of stress that you're feeling it looks like rather than being like reactive or maybe like jumping on doing something immediately taking the time to reflect is going to help you like know where to go from here I'm seeing something about like a ringlet curl or curly hair. The challenge is setting boundaries or even like backing up something that you believe in. This is about like even questioning your beliefs too and be like, do I believe in that for arbitrary reasons or like, does this actually resonate with me? Do I like truly believe in this? Um, am I willing to defend this because this is me showing up for myself or am I just being too rigid here? And there's something here about like you needing to show up for yourself and like either advocate or communicate boundaries or there's somebody that you want to have like a full-blown discussion with conversation i'm seeing the king of swords come out right after the queen of swords here so it's like somebody that you're talking to somebody that you want to let know what's going on with you i'm seeing there be like open curiosity between the two of you there's a sense of this being an opportunity to like maybe learn about that person maybe for them to learn about you something like that 
and get something out of the way that's unnecessary. I'm seeing something even be called out. So, I'm seeing two different things. You may be setting boundaries with someone or having a conversation with someone that may have said something from a shadow space. Because I'm seeing you have this like full-blown conversation with this person here. And it's like the Seven of Swords was involved in whatever they said. This can also be you too. Um, remember, energies can be reversed, but we're just going to stick with one narrative so as not to be confusing. I'm seeing you be in a place where it's like you feel like you need to have boundaries with this person because it's like maybe the last time you spoke with them, they said something or maybe were saying things that were coming from a shadow space and you recognize that. And it's like now this person feels sad about it. I'm seeing this person, it's like they said something that now like they regret or they're like, I wish I hadn't said that. It's like maybe they're coming through to apologize to you. I'm seeing someone that did something and this person recognizing like, hey, that wasn't the right thing to do or I shouldn't have done that or like my shadow got the best of me here. And I'm seeing them feel like sad about this or... It's not sitting well with them. And I'm seeing them wanting to come through and say something to you. I'm seeing that this put a big strain on your relationship with this person. It may have also really challenged you as well. But it seems like the more balanced... and honorably you deal with this situation, the better off it is for you. Meaning, okay, say you have a tight relationship with someone and you're feeling stressed out because of like the way that they're talking to you or something that they're saying, because I'm seeing someone that may have gotten like verbally aggressive with you. There was some sort of issue when it came to the communication with this person. And to have the King of Swords be next to the Seven of Swords, this is someone that could have said something cutting to you. Maybe, like, they were using their words in a way that was, um, like, not meant to be nourishing, but rather be, like, hurtful in some sort of way, in some capacity, something like that, right? And, like, say the karmic justice or the justice that you see fit within this situation would be, like, hey, I'm going to separate from you. Hey, I'm going to take a break from you. Like, this isn't really working for me. I don't like when you talk to me like that. So we're not going to converse until you can speak to me in the way that I feel is acceptable. So something like that. So I'm seeing, like, whatever way it is that you laid things down, I'm seeing, like, that's even what protects you. Like, e interestingly enough, even on a spiritual level from this person. And it also seems like... Like it gave them time to reflect on what it is that was going on for them but that may be like part of a challenge for this person like until you set boundaries with them and you're like this is going to be the consequence if this happens and like that's what my boundary is like if you keep talking to me like this we're not gonna have conversations anymore whatever it is that you did here it seems like this was necessary because if not you would have been enabling someone and something would have continued that you didn't feel peaceful about because i'm seeing there be stress tagged to this situation and it seems like this is also gives this person an opportunity to look within the framework of their behavior and be like, maybe I shouldn't be treating Libra in this way. Maybe I need to change up the way that I'm like acting with them. But I'm seeing it even be a challenge for this person to reflect... And maybe even the barrier was about, like, you needing to, like, be firm and set boundaries on something. I'm hearing have a sense of constitution. And because you're doing this, there's a possibility for this person to slide into a space, even though it may be, like, a bit of a challenge for them to recognize, like, hey, I don't like the way that things went when it came to our relationship. 
because I'm seeing them even want to come through and be like, this is what I'm feeling. Like, instead of it just being talk about, I don't know, maybe talk without them getting vulnerable. They may possibly be, like, getting more vulnerable now, but I don't know how receptive you feel about this because I'm seeing you still be, um, like, a bit guarded when it comes to their energy. Actually. I also get the feeling that this was also like part of a karmic test for you to stand up for yourself too and not allow something that you didn't like, something that you weren't okay with, even if that means separating from a connection or a relationship or like not seeing somebody as often or like being more cordial with them. Because it seems like Something was like out of balance or even out of place that had been going on between you and this person. I'm looking at Libra, Virgo, Taurus. It may have been hard to set boundaries with this person, but I'm seeing it be very much necessary because something about their behavior needed to be called out, it looks like to me. Like, maybe this was even a moment where you're, like, telling somebody how you feel about what it is that they're doing or being like, this isn't okay with me, and it's giving them time to actually, um, like, realize what it is that they were doing and be like maybe more self-aware because of this communication that you're giving them because i'm seeing somebody that's been like sitting and thinking about something thinking about what they did and not feeling great about it and wanting to come through and say something to you i am hearing the word message I'm seeing you have your walls up because of the way that this person has hurt you in the past. I'm seeing that be very blatant. It's like you don't want to get hurt again in the way that they hurt you. So I'm seeing you even be like quite standoffish with this person. But they see that. It's like, I'm, I'm seeing it be like, you're on this end and you have like the wall in front of you so this person can't like penetrate it. And you're like, I have this wall here because like this person has hurt me in, in the past. Like it could have even had something to do with, for some of you, them like infringing on your boundaries or like even something with gossip or like something that they said maybe feeling like they were speaking even before thinking or just feeling like they didn't take the time to think long enough about what they were doing or maybe even a lack of self-awareness with the page of swords here even feeling in a way like this person may like try to blame you or put the blame on you so i'm seeing you be here and i'm seeing this person be here and it's like what i'm seeing in between the two of you is just like the pain from what has happened in the past and it seems even like that's kind of what's separating them from even getting closer to you And they may be at a point, too, where they're trying to figure out, like, why it is that you're so guarded and maybe, like, even unreachable. Because I'm seeing you be very, very separated from this person.
what I'm getting to is that you learning from the past experiences that you've had with like this person or these people, whoever, whomever this is for you. You learning from like what what has led you to feeling hurt in the past is going to help you understand what types of boundaries you need to create in order to protect yourself. So even though it may be painful to look back into these things, I'm seeing that it may feel extremely uncomfortable, but it's going to benefit you in a big way to look back at this and learn everything that you can from it because we are meant to learn from these things. I'm gonna teach you better how to like advocate for yourself and set boundaries and all of that. It's all encouraging you to like be able to show up better for yourself, to understand how you work and all of that stuff. A learning experience. It seems like this, for some of you, this is also going to help you in a professional setting as well. Or this may be helping you in a professional setting. I'm here privateer I don't even know if that's a word if that's coming through yeah it seems like it's gonna help you play a role very very well in a very successful way even help you start something very successfully something that you feel called to do So you setting boundaries, you taking taking all of this all in from your past, like these things that didn't work, how you felt hurt, like all of this stuff, learning everything that you can from it. And I'm seeing it's like that helps you potentially with like work or a job that you're doing. And it even helps you to be like more successful at what you're doing. And it helps you to reach your goals too especially with like a project that you're working on or something that you're pursuing, something that you are investing, invested in. I'm hearing listen to the heart. Mm. For some of you too, there is something that you're ending and this can also be work related too because we were talking about like a new role or a new project that you're working on, something like that. For some of you, um, this can be like a person, it can be a coworker, it can be a job, something like that. I'm seeing something come to an end, but it's because you're ready to transition into something else. So even though it may hurt to do this, um, it's necessary for your transition with Scorpio here. It's like a time for molting, a time for changing. And I'm seeing Scorpio next to Mars here. So this is some really intense energy kicking around. So yeah, I'm seeing it be like, in order to get things rolling, in order to get things moving, and you even being like, I know that I'm being, I know that I'm meant to go in this direction. I know I'm meant to go this way. There's even a notion of you being like, I know that something is going to need to come to an end. And unless I do this, I'm not going to ab be able to like fully undergo this transformation. And I am seeing a tower like maybe this is going to be more at once than you expected it to be. This can also be a change that like really pivots you and the direction that you're going in. And it may just be like a very big change for you. Because I have like the tower and the death card here together, this can be a moment where like the way that you're changing and something that you're changing is also going to change like maybe your environment or like what your job looks like or what your title looks like or what the roles that you're playing look like. Like it seems like a personal change that you're making that like affects other areas even of your life. So you setting boundaries and even like defending your beliefs and defending yourself 
is going to help you listen to what your heart is telling you about something that's like not meant to continue any longer and with the with the um king of pentacles here this can be ending a relationship with like a job a company a boss a co-worker something like that bringing something to an end it seems even like possibly a past aspiration or something from the past that led you to where you are now like some a cycle may be over with something and i'm seeing like it may not be particularly easy for you to make this transition but you're at a point where you're like even though it's going to be hard for me to go or say goodbye i know that i'm being guided in this other direction because i'm kind of seeing it be like you can't fill the cups any further they're just like spilling over and it seems like it's time for you to like get new cups to go somewhere else to be doing something else to be changing up the scenery related and connected with this because i'm seeing even something that you've fulfilled now that you were meant to fulfill so that means opening yourself up to this transition and where it's taking you. And I'm seeing you learn about like a new direction that you're going in, somewhere your heart is calling you, somewhere you feel passionate about a direction, a project, a relationship, something like that. And I am seeing the tower. So this may be very different. It may be a bit of a shakeup and it may really call on you to like exercise, taking action, you asserting yourself, you getting things done, you going after this thing that you want this thing that pulls you so like that's how you'll know what the page of um wands is for you it's something that is calling to you now like even from the depths you may feel sad too because there could be um a friend group or a group of people or a person that a person that you're moving away from or a group of people it can be like a group of coworkers, something like that. And it's like, I'm really sad to go um, that I'm moving away from this, but it may just be time. So it's like, you know, when you're ready to like go to a different job rather than doing what you want, it's like saying goodbye to all of your like coworkers and your peers and all of that stuff and moving on to the next thing. I'm looking at Scorpio and Mars here. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.